Okay, let's, let's go crude oil. All right, let's just tr strictly take a look at the arrows here. These are the arrows that have fired short this morning. I got two time frames. I've got a longer time frame. This is my five sim Rinko. Five right here, you see five. Five with two days back. I'm looking for two day swings on this. Here's my entry so far this morning. If you notice, I have two moving averages on there. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance. We use them for trend direction and looking for what's called a full retracement. The best trade is going to happen if you have a first cross like up here and the first retracement arrow short on a long time frame. That's your best trade. All right. These trades matched up with market profile. A couple of these did right here. Let's look at the arrows strictly by themselves, though. This is a longer time frame. You're not going to get a lot of arrows on the longer term time frame. What a full retracement is, is when the market comes back up and tests this longer, longer term MA. It tests this longer term MA. That's a full retracement. On the longer time frame, this 5 sim Renko, you don't need it to have a full retracement to get in. It can break retest market profile. It can mean a hard downtrend and just get an arrow with market delta sell. However, my next chart next to it is a very short time frame. It's very important. You cannot take all arrows on this time frame on the right of my longer term. That's on the templates we send out. We make these templates for you and send them out. You cannot take all these trades. This last trade that called this swing right here is a non-trade also. Even though it worked out, we don't take those trades. Why? On this time frame, you're just going to take a lot of the swings. It's going to look at every small swing there is in the market and produce arrows. How can we catch the ones that we want? We want the market to come up, and we want it to fully retrace to this longer term MA. Now, this is a 3SIM, 3SIM Rinko, two days back. I like to look at two days of the highs, lows, and the swings in the market to produce these arrows. So you look, I'm too far away right here for this short. It's called this nice little short here. We don't want to take that, though. I'm not a full retracement. Where do I want to take it? Right there. There's my full retracement. It touches right on my full retracement in it. So if you're using this time frame, the smaller time frame, look for the full retracements into the longer term aid with the arrows. Now what happens is, is that if you notice this arrow that fired here off the long time frame, check it out. It was not at a full retracement, was it? It's okay. It's a longer time frame. You can still take it. But what it was at was at a full retracement on the shorter time frame. That's how you marry the two together. You do that, you're going to catch a lot of, lot of big swings. In other words, let me blow this up. You can see the longer term time frame, you don't get a lot of arrows. Swing, 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 swing. On the way up yesterday, you don't get a lot of arrows. Swing, swing, right? You don't get a lot of them produced. Swing, 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 swing. What happens is, is when this arrow right here in the long time frame produced, it's not at a full retracement, is it? All the way down here. It was exactly at a full retracement here and here on the short time frame. So they married up. Right here, this arrow. This is a full retracement on the shorter time frame. So you're at a full retracement taking a long-term swing. It's beautiful how they marry up together. So this last arrow right here was way away from a full retracement, which is okay. It's a longer time frame. But it was exactly at a full retracement on my short time frame right here with an arrow. So it gave me a full retracement in the market with a longer term arrow swing. In other words, if I'm trading off these two arrow charts, my longer term swings do not, which is my left chart, does not have to come up and test magenta MX. When it does and the arrow fires with trend, you're probably going to have a doozy of a trade. And the big ones usually are a little hook. So how do we catch if the market's too weak on the long time frame? You can take these signals on the long term, 
if you retest the market profile, we get them by taking full retracements off my short time frame. You want to avoid trades like this. You don't take all arrows off the three sem. You don't take arrows off all the three sem. You don't take all arrows off the three sem. I cannot repeat that or you will get killed. You cherry pick these trades. The accuracy of the system is unbelievable when you look for full retracements when these match up. It's incredible on all markets. And these trades are, like I said, not 10 tick trades. You get some big trades, 40, 60, 70, 80. We had a 100 tick trade potential yesterday on crude. $2,000 trade potential on gold with one contract off full retracements. So the full retracements, this is where you want to look. Full retracements here, full retracement here, full retracement here. Anything below that is junk. Don't worry about it. On the way up, that's your full, look at this market just explode off this full retracement right there. Look at it explode. And that's where we had a longer term time frame over here, fire also. Look at it explode. Boom. But you don't take these small arrows of fire from the small retracements off the small time frame. Here's another one. Came down to it. Exploded. Took off. Bam. These, you don't touch them. They're shallow retracements. So the short time frame, look for full retracements. Long time frame, you're good to go. Match up with market profile, you're golden. So today's trade matched up perfect. I had an arrow in the long term time frame, and I was in a full retracement.